Matt Jones, a father of five from northern Michigan, has always been known as the guy with a big heart. If you've got the ability to do so, why not? But he gave really big two years ago when he donated his kidney to a complete stranger with one condition. The recipient had to find a donor for someone else. It was a huge gift. Barb Bunnell was the first recipient and thus began the longest kidney donor chain in history, written up in this week's New England Journal of Medicine. Since 2007, 10 people have received new kidneys from living donors. With the help of a computer matching program, Matt flew to Phoenix to help Barb. In turn, her husband, Ron, gave his kidney to Angie in Ohio. Angie's mom, Lori, then donated her kidney. And on and on it went, spouses, parents, even friends paying it forward. Other donor chains require the donor swaps to happen at the same time in the same hospital. But Dr. Michael Reese based his donor chain on trust. Is there a risk to doing it this way? Absolutely. The big risk is that somebody might renege. Has someone broken the chain? Nope. Nobody's, nobody's done that yet. You know, when you're a mom, you do whatever you can for your children. Lori Sarvo knows without Matt's act of kindness, her daughter Angie wouldn't be alive. <laughs> he gave me my life back. When I'm back in school, I can t go anywhere I want now and not have to worry about having dialysis. We brought them together again today, the pioneering doctor and three links in his chain. So connected, they went to Matt's wedding last June. But we were all bound together. Everyone has a different story, but it, uh, uh, they're all incredible stories. And each story, Matt says, is an inspiration <laughs> to pass it on seeing somebody come back from looking literally dead to being full of life. I'm hoping to see, you know, more people in the future be able to experience that. Michelle Miller, CBS News, New York.